My name is Bob Brain, and um, what we're doing right here today specifically is drawing tattoo proposals onto people uh, that are based on the idea of where Tibbetts Brook used to run. The genesis of the idea of doing the tattoo project was came from work that I did really out in Queens at the Queens Museum in 2000 or something, 2001 uh, or 2000. But, it, but that project, I did a lot of low-altitude aerial photographs. And you, looking at those low-altitude aerial photographs, you got a kind of a bird's-eye view or almost what you might have as an out-of-body experience. And so looking at the interchange of, say, the Van Wyck Expressway and the Flushing Creek and the Long Island Expressway, I started to think that if you can mark yourself, like, you know, people have tattoos of, well, if they've gone through the Panama Canal or if they went to Germany or Hamburg, Germany, or maybe an ex-lover, you know, or mom or whatever your tattoo is and whatever, I mean, there's a whole bunch of cultural tattoo traditions, uh, too numerous to sort of mention, but you're marking yourself with something that's important to you and that could be place and in this case we're talking about a sort of a monument to an extinct topography which is the creek of Tibbetts Brook and here you are hundred years after they covered and paved over the whole thing but there's some resonance in the landscape that when you get a mark of this extinct feature uh, on your body, it shows really where you're from. It reminds me of, you know, there was a mountain lion that escaped, that, that got killed on the Merritt Parkway a few years back. And they were able to go back and look at its DNA and figure out what population of mountain lions that actually came from. It came from ones in the Dakotas. So they were able to like look at that DNA and go back to one location. So with the idea of having a tattoo uh, or a proposal of a tattoo on you, it, it sort of plugs you into a very specific location. 